I just left uh, Immaculata University out in Philadelphia as a recruiting coordinator and assistant coach there. I came back, I started working for the Building Blocks Lacrosse program during the travel, and you know, I really just missed the, the competitive nature of the sport and coaching. So, you know, I was shopping around and Sean McNulty, who was an assistant coach here last year, recommended me for the position and, you know, I jumped on it right away. You know, it's it's obviously a great opportunity to to, to come into a program that has built so much already. Um, and, and I've loved every second of it. It's been a great experience for me and, uh, you know, hopefully I can be here for, for a long time. Yeah, just talk about that. It's not like you're coming to a program that's new or has struggled over the years. Does that what what kind of challenges does that bring? I mean, the, the other challenge would be trying to get the program going, but this program's established. Right. You know, it's the the big thing is, you know, having the respect and and setting the tone from coach to player. You know, making sure that they understand that we're going to go through a little bit of a culture change and things are going to be a little bit differently. You know, nothing against how they were in the past. This is just the way that I like to do it. My philosophy, things are going to be intense. You know, and we're going to treat it, you know, more seriously and, and we're going to set our goals and we're going to have higher expectations. You obviously had a great high school career at Ridge and then at Montclair. Uh, what kind of philosophies are you going to draw from your coaches at Montclair and Ridge that you bring here? You know what, I think my overall demeanor that I have uh, at practice and games and just overall is something that I learned from Coach Kivlin at Montclair State. And I've had the opportunity to be coached by, by the best, you know, by Coach Marsh, I, the Coach Greco passed away a couple of years ago, and then Coach Kivlin. And, you know, around them, my brain was just a sponge. I just absorbed everything I possibly could from them, and, and it's really helped me out thus far. And it's made me more, you know, confident, and, and it's, it's definitely helped a lot. You know. how, big, how big is it that you're a guy that's not removed from the game? You still play, and you were an outstanding player in your, in your organized playing days. How does that translate when you're out there in the field where you can actually physically show these guys what to do? Right, yeah, I mean, uh, you know, I'm starting to feel a little bit older than I probably am out there. I'm definitely not suiting up with these guys, but, um, you know, it definitely helps because it's, you know, the guys can relate to me and I can relate to them uh, while still keeping it, you know, strictly business, uh, you know, as a coach to a, a kid. And, you know, I can do some of the stuff with shooting and dodging and stuff like that. And, you know, it helps sometimes for them to visually see it rather than just be explained it. So that's been, it's been a good transition. And you mentioned before, I guess the big goal is to take Sparta from a, being a very good program to one of the best in the state. Absolutely, yep, that's the goal. Um, you know, it starts in here. Right now, we're going to set the tempo for it. You know, we're going to try to make that schedule more difficult next year and the year after. And really, you know, the overall goal, and it, it takes some time, obviously, but we want to be in the grouping with Summit, Mountain Lakes, Ridge. And uh, from what I've seen in the youth program, it's definitely a possible thing. And, you know, it's, we're definitely on our way.